Hey everybody, welcome to the Pro Tip. I'm Aaron. Today's Pro Tip, combine SNMP traps and the Nagios volatility setting for security and operations management monitoring. Now, the cool thing about SNMP traps is that they come into Nagios when things happen. The downside to traps is that without the volatility setting, Nagios will only notify us of the first trap of that type to come in. Let's look at an example. Here's a trap that comes in from a switch whenever an interface gets plugged in or unplugged. What you have to know is that the standard Nagios notification logic generates a notification when a service's state changes. That makes sense, right? You only want notifications when something changes. But with traps, the trap only has one state. In our example here, the trap is always in a warning state. So no matter how many traps come in because interfaces get plugged in or unplugged, Nagios will only notify on the very first trap to come in because every subsequent trap always comes in with the same state. Plus, the traps aren't logged either. But when we mark the trap as volatile, the Nagios notification logic changes. With volatility enabled, Every trap that comes in triggers a notification and a log entry, which is probably what you're looking for in these use cases. So if you need to keep a close eye on network changes, combine traps and volatility to ensure you're getting the information you need. Do you have a pro tip? Would you like a pro tip? Let us know in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe so that every time we put up a new pro tip, you're sure to get it.